Angela Kim from TheSquishyMonster.com and today I'm bringing you some highly addictive Christmas crack, also known as chocolate saltine toffee. And one bite you'll be completely hooked, it is that yummy. And this video is in collaboration with some very fun and festive baking videos, so all those ladies' videos will be linked at the end of this video as well as below. So let's get started. This is an incredibly easy recipe, but there are a few steps that will ensure that you have a successful batch. And one of the most important things is to make sure you line your pan with some parchment so that it doesn't stick. You will hate yourself if you go through all of this and then you have toffee stuck to the quarters and bits. It just really sucks. So <laughs> you just want to make sure that it doesn't stick and I'm just lining the bottom with my saltine crackers. Next, I'm just going to melt my unsalted butter and brown sugar until it's thickened. Another important tip is to make sure that whatever vessel you're using, that it's large enough to contain the voracious bubbles that will inevitably kind of stew up. So I just did mine in a microwave. Mine is 1.58 kilowatts, and I just heated it for a minute, and then I stirred. I whisked voraciously, and then I did it for another 30 seconds, and then whisked again, and this is the consistency that I came up with. Just like that, just smooth and melted and very cohesive. So you don't wanna overcook it or you'll burn your sugar syrup and it'll just be awful. So now I just wanna pour it over my saltines and then I can bake it off in my preheated oven. After you've baked your toffee, you just want to sprinkle over some chocolate. And I'm just using some bittersweet chocolate and we're going to pop it back into the oven for about a minute, 30 seconds to a minute, until it just softly, gently melts and we can spread it evenly with an offset spatula. Now it's just a matter of waiting for it to harden so you can shatter it and enjoy. So at this point when the surface is still wet, you can sprinkle over with some sprinkles of your choice to be really festive, maybe in some holiday colors or some smoked salt, some fleur de sel, whatever your heart desires. I think I'm going to keep mine very simple and classic and I just can't wait to dig into this.